Right, you guys, got another video here for you. How to choose the right Linux distro. Well, there is actually a website where you can load up any distro that you find on here and have a play with it and see whether you like it. There's quite a lot to choose from. And this will give you a good idea of what each distro can do and whether you like the look of it and feel of it before you go installing it on your main PC. The website is called distroc.com. And all you need to do is go over there and click on them and load up the actual distro and have a play around with it to see whether you like it or not. Now, there's quite a few ads on here, but that's obviously to be expected seeing that the person is offering a service where you can load these up. You don't have to install them onto any sort of virtual machine or anything like that. You can just have a quick look at them and see whether it's your sort of distro that you want to use on your main system. And there's all your favorite ones on here to choose from. So let's click on one and I'll show you how it works. So choose any of these right here. And then all you need to do is click on it and it will tell you you are currently in the queue where you are placed in the queue. And uh, it will let you load up straight away. If you are ready to go, click on start. And once that's done, it will say waiting in the queue. You can see zero minutes, which means I can load this up immediately. Once I've loaded this up, I'll be able to see exactly what Peppermint OS looks like. All of the applications will load up perfectly fine. So you'll be able to see and feel what it exactly feels like to run Peppermint OS. And there we go. It's loaded up perfectly fine. Now we don't want to install this at all. We just want to have a quick look around. But this is just one of them that you can have a look at to see whether it's the sort of distro that you want to use on your main system. Again, you can also install these on a virtual machine and that's free to do as well. But this way is super quick and super easy. Let's try another one here. So I'm going to click on another one and you've got plenty to choose from here. And I'm going to choose one of these and open up Manjaro and you'll be able to see what Manjaro looks like once you load it up. So if you're on a computer that doesn't support Windows 11 and you want to try out Linux, then you can open up some of these and to see what they look like and feel like without having to install a virtual machine and have to install the operating system onto it to have a look. You can have a quick look on here and it will give you a look at all of the applications and all of the stuff that comes bundled with this particular type of distro. Once you've checked a few of these out, you can then choose to download the ISO yourself and create a bootable USB flash drive and install it onto your main computer. It's that simple. So it's a pretty useful little way to have a look at different types of distros that are available because Linux does have quite a few to choose from. So we're just loading up elementary OS here and we'll see what elementary OS looks like. Now I do like the look of elementary OS. It's quite a nice looking actual distro. Now it does take quite a while to load these up. You can choose the language here to choose from and keyboard layout as well. So I'm just going to use a uh, us here or uk one of these will do fine and you can see here try the demo mode so i'm going to try demo and this should load it up and we should be able to see what it actually looks like so here we have the actual desktop here looks quite nice as you can see i do like the look of this one and uh, if you want that sort of mac feel then this is probably uh, one of the ones that you can go for and i do like this little layout down here looks really nice now, if you're already a Linux user or you have some sort of Linux knowledge, then share it with others on this community and post some ideas and thoughts in the comments section to give people an idea of what to try and what to use, especially if they're coming from Windows and hopefully your advice might be useful to them rather than saying just install Linux because there's a lot of people that don't know what Linux is or which ones to try and your information might help people instead of just putting up silly comments that are not going to be helpful at all. So you can see here, we do have a Lite 64 education version and a core version. And this is a Zorin OS, which I think is quite a good choice for people if they are coming from uh, Windows. And it's quite a nice little distro to try out. And you can take a look at it right here once it loads up. It does take a little bit of time to load these. Um, but again, it's once it's loaded, you can get a good feel for what it actually feels and looks like. So if you're asking my opinion on which ones to try, I think Linux Mint is a good one to try. I think Zorin OS is another good one to try. Uh, Pop OS is another popular one that I would say you can try if you are trying Linux for the first time. And those are the ones that I would choose 
or say you should uh, try if you're going to be trying Linux for the very first time. Linux Mint is a really good choice for a lot of people. They've just released their latest version and it's a pretty go-to uh, distro for me if I want to recommend people Linux to try. I always recommend them to try, uh, say, Linux Mint. So that is my personal choice of what I think you should try first. And then you've got some other ones like Zorin and Pop! OS as well, which are quite popular. At the end of the day, the choice is going to be completely yours, what distro you want to try out. And again, it is going to be a little bit alien to you because obviously you're coming from Windows, which is a completely different operating system compared to Windows. But if you're in this uh, boat where you have an old computer and you can't afford a new computer and Windows 10 end of life is coming in October 2025, and if you need to continue to use that computer and you need a working computer and you don't have the money to pay for security patches uh, to Microsoft, then your other option is to use a Linux distro. Choose one that you want to use. You can then install that on your computer for free. There's no activation or anything like that. You will receive security updates and you're not going to be at risk because obviously uh, you are getting updates from Linux and these will be updated all the time. And you'll be surprised how much less utilization that Linux uses over Windows. You will still be able to use uh, Linux on YouTube, sending emails, all that stuff that you've been doing on Windows. But where it gets complicated is if you are an hardcore gamer or you need proprietary software like Adobe Suite and things like that, then it gets a little bit more complicated to use operating systems like Linux because it doesn't support those. So just make sure it can do everything you need it to do and uh, basically install it and you should be pretty much good to go. Now there's going to be millions of people in the same situation as what you're in when it comes to end of life for Windows 10 because the system requirements for Windows 11 that Microsoft have in place are pretty extreme. That means there's going to be a lot of computers that just don't make the cut. Now, Microsoft have said that they may offer security updates for another three years to Windows 10 for Windows businesses, but they haven't mentioned about home users pricing yet. So there may be a point where you do get the option to have security updates for another three years if you pay for them if you're a home user. A lot of people are not going to want to do that, but if you are in that boat, then obviously Linux is your option. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.